Well, the fans, the fans high up under this in the That's nice. I guess they are. They're going nice, bass. Y'all see it, man. On that Strike King, on that Rattling Jig, help them find it in that darker water, y'all. That's gonna be a bait you wanna use. Second fish I caught out this spot, it kinda got these little colors on his tail, but that's pretty cool, y'all. He almost pushing too. y'all nice way to start the day all right y'all i made it back to the headquarters man uh, on this video man i'm gonna throw in uh one more catch that i did it was like a week before uh, when i kind of got my shimano like a week or two before but just because i want to show y'all the other bass because it had the same spots as the fish that i caught on this one but uh that probably be the last time i hit that video so i hope y'all enjoyed this episode man had a, a good time testing out that new bait man and uh, I got confidence in it now. Like I said, first time trying it, if it worked in a position where you already in the funk and not getting a bite, but it kind of fired them up. And then it kind of got me out of my pattern, man. I kind of fish slow sometimes, unless it's a crankbait, but they wanted that fast retrieve, so that's what we gave them, and we got a bite fired up. So hopefully y'all pick that bait up as well. Uh, wild more fine, easy to locate, and hope y'all enjoy. Yep, they're chasing y'all. He got some colors. Nice bass on the Shimano, y'all. Got some pretty interesting colors on going on. All right, y'all, it's gonna be day two. Uh, coming back out because I only caught that one fish back there in that corner yesterday, and I missed another bite, but uh, today is actually gonna be like, I think it's like 12 to 15 degrees warm, <clears throat> warmer, so. Still a little windy, that's about the only thing, but. Uh, last time I kinda left around that way. This time I guess I'll, I'll go in from a different side. Y'all, it's hella funky. Hella skunky, really, man. It ain't looking good for you, boy. One bite, first cast. Couldn't get it to come back, nothing else. Shimano SLX DC, 15 pound fluorocarbon, seven foot, medium pole, fast action. Things. Y'all, that's crazy. I wasn't recording because I swear on my life, I was just sitting here blazing this jig. I mean, blazing the jig, y'all. I was really just sitting there retuning the, uh, the little bait cast. And I mean, I was blazing that jig in. And he didn't ran up and hit it. That's weird, though, because I do see him feeding the hill. Man, I just made a whole, man, I've been fishing for like an hour, y'all. And a little bit, it followed it up. But man, it's crazy. I, I was thinking to myself, for one, I normally do record everything. But like at the same time, I was like, man, ain't no way they're going to hit this jig with me really just working it that fast. Because I was just sitting up playing with the bait cast. I mean, and I'm just like, I was straight line and just blazing it. And I mean, he hit it right up at the bank, but maybe they don't want a slow bait. Maybe I need to work a swim jig, black. I guess that account, we'll, we'll swap to a swim jig since it's still gonna be a black profile jig, still gonna be by Strike King. 
since we already here, y'all kicking it with me. Uh, let me take the line out. Uh, let's be real, man. You got to get a jig box. A little creative, man. I'm trying to step it up, man. Get ready for the bigger fish of this spring, man. We got the red crawfish. Got the peanut butter jelly. Got the black. Got to keep black. And I got the pro model rattling jig black, which I was using in this video. But I just took it off due to that last strike. But these just a lot of other little cheaper jigs. Kind of used them for my son. But we're going to step it up to the swim jigs, y'all. Been kind of getting prepared for that bite. Got the brown color as well. That's pretty saucy. Brown color. Got the white. But uh, I said I was going to stick the black. So same colors, y'all. Black swim jig. We're going to get it tied on and uh, throw it around. See if we can get another bite. All right, y'all, I just swapped to this uh, black swim jig, man. Let me make sure y'all can see it pretty good. Got the black swim jig on. I was using a pro model rattling jig, but got a little reaction strike, y'all. But this is going to be my, hopefully, first time getting a bite on a, a swim jig, man. I picked up some new lures, kind of just talked about that, man. But uh, this kind of, every channel, in my opinion, has something that makes it unique. And one of the things... Uh, I try to do is like as the upcoming angler, it's basically not me, it's everybody just basically learning how to fish. And if you have been around since I started the channel, man, I kind of knew about fishing, but I really wasn't good at it. I mean, I was like really one step above beginner level. Like I knew how to tie a few knots and blah, blah, blah. But man, I basically learned how to fish over the channel. But every other video, I try my best to use a different lure. Like a lot, some videos, you know, it's just a fishing trip. We're just trying to get on a good bite. I may run through four four lures. You know, try to, you know, if it's a good bite, I try to use at least three different lures. May use like a crankbait, underspin, Texas rig, something like that. But I always trying to use new lures and uh hopefully this swim jig can be one of them, y'all. It's supposed to be something good for triggering a big bite. So we're just gonna see. Trying to keep it close to surface. But I mean, if this thing kicking, y'all, it is kicking. What's going on? Make another lap across the pond. Like I said, we're just going to blaze it. Hopefully, we can get a bite. Uh, don't want to spend a lot of time. It's only like 8.45 or so. It's, it's still pretty early, but I just, I'm just just not in the mood to fish all day. So... I might here get a quick bite, and then I'm gonna go grab breakfast. Figure out it. Do we still have some spun situations? Because if I can find some more uh, spun and bass, y'all, I can make a real good uh, jig video for y'all. Hopefully, it'll help somebody else want to pick it up and, and you know give it a, give it a shot, man. Add it to the box. Because once I added jigs to my box, fish added half a pound to them. Kind of got through some of them dinks and started catching some of those buckets. Like I say, y'all, this thing looking good. Looking good. Fired them up, y'all. Get them up here. We find them up now. Man, third fish on this video. First ever swim jig fish, but man, these bass keep that stuff that look interesting tail on them, y'all. Button them up real good on the swim jig. I got the scale. I mean, I don't, he's not definitely not a big bass at all, but definitely a healthy fish. I just want to see what he weighs. Kind of about, wow, now the scale is low. Man, if he would have been over a three, I would have been a little sick, y'all. That's up. On the swim jig, though. Adding confidence to the bait, baby. That's what the, being an upcoming angler is all about. Got to check baits off the list, y'all. Got to switch it up. Get on different bikes. I always avoid the skunk because it was just a pretty rough day, y'all. And I just think I found a, a good retrieve speed too. 
because I was working it. Uh, I mean, I could feel it thumping. A nice little vibration to it. A raised tail. A lot of action on the top of him. Gold. Through the lip, he will never get off. Not on his own. That's a nice one, y'all. The swim jig. Oh, I'm dark to him. Let's go. The swim jig, y'all. It's nice. Somebody had to be hanging out back there, y'all. Chilling in the cut. He's shot for one of that grass. And they nice. I mean, got bellies. Thanks for coming out. All right, y'all. That's pretty much going to wrap up this video, man. Started with the a uh, black rattling pro model strike king jig then finished it off with the swim jig due to a reaction strike and actually fired up one of the better bass but man this thing is only like three dollars and fifty cents i got a nice weed guard good for getting through weeds kind of got a good 3d eyes but i like that it has a, a bait keeper on here too so that when they hit it man they're not really just gonna be ripping off your baits you know, like i say just for three dollars to get into using a bait man i think it's perfect just put it on for the first time and got a bite, so I'm pleased with it. Felt pretty good reeling them up, good sharp hook, and I have no complaints, y'all. Definitely something you should add to your tackle box.